Optical flow describes how image points move in time. In many cases, it provides clear information about the motion of objects in the scene. Here we can see that human poses and actions are clearly recognisable from flow. In this work, we consider articulated human motion and exploit optical flow to estimate the pose of people in video sequences with uncontrolled viewing conditions. Specifically, we consider a data set from the TV show Friends called Video Pose 2.0. The data set was introduced by Sap et al. in CVPR 2011. Our key novelty is that we use dense optical flow for human pose estimation. We do so in two ways. First, we form a novel likelihood function that links pose configurations of neighbouring frames through flow. Second, we use it for search. During inference, we use flow to propagate good pose estimates across the video sequence. Our method exploits the deformable structures model introduced by Zufi et al. in CVPR 2012. We downloaded the model from the web. The DS model is a gender-specific part-based 2D representation of the human body. We call the model a puppet and it will be puppeteered by the optical flow. Given a hypothesized puppet on one frame and the dense flow, we estimate the motion of the puppet's body parts. We fit an affine motion model to the dense flow in each part region. From the affine motion, we predict the puppet pose in an adjacent frame. We call the predicted puppet a flowing puppet. For pose estimation, we want the hypothesized puppet and the flowing puppet both to match the image evidence in their frames. This is the first of our key novelties. A pose that is good on the current frame and is consistent with image evidence and flow add adjacent frames is more likely to be correct. But it is too computationally expensive to search both frames simultaneously for the best pose on each that also match the flow. The key idea is to use the flow to link or connect the two frames. If a pose matches the image evidence at one frame and the corresponding flowing puppet matches the image evidence in an adjacent frame, then we have a good solution. We define three image terms. We require the statistics of oriented image gradients along the contour to be consistent with training data. We evaluate steered hog descriptors in a pyramid, train an SVM classifier and convert its output to a likelihood function. The lower arms and hands are likely to be skin colour. We want them to match skin colour likelihood maps. Hands often move quickly. We train a classifier on optical flow to detect hand-shaped regions in the flow fields. We want the puppet's hands to match hand likelihood maps. For inference, we use an iterative particle-based method where a particle corresponds to a puppet. We initialize particles on each frame using a state-of-the-art method for pose estimation in single images. From the estimated stickman, we fit a puppet. We add additional puppets exploiting hand detection. We optimise every frame in turn using particle swarm optimization. At the end of optimization, the best particles are propagated to the neighbours as following puppets. This is our second contribution. Flowing puppets enrich the particle set at neighbouring frames. Alone in the dark at night
night I bet I like the dark More than you like the light Is there are things you see They can't be seen when you Open your eyes So give me three good reasons To go outside And teach me how to show That you're the only one I want to love And words work But lately they're just not Wanna come home to the night Me wonder what went wrong With you and her And I wonder If you wonder about Me and him too But I'd be happy To never speak of this again So teach me how to show me you're the only one I want to love and words work But lately they're just not